guys are looking for some cheap grips, go check out Gradient Grips and use a popo for 5% off. Link is in the description. For your clothing, go to PWND Brands and use a popo for 50% off. So welcome back my bros to another video on Popo Gaming. Now as most of you know, FIFA 17 is very close. The new uh, <coughs> trailer got released and also kind of the first things that are for sure going to be in FIFA got released. So I'm going to go through them with you and also give you my opinion on them. So let's start up with the set piece rewrite. So it says direct free kicks. Customize your run up on the free kicks to create more variety in the spin and movement on the ball. You can now deliver worldies like outside of the foot direct free kicks and bent around the opposition. New corner kicks. A new targeting system from corners lets you pick out the teammates with great position and changes the way your teammates move as you deliver the pass. Switch to a player in the box and have your teammate pick you out for the perfect header. New penalty kicks. Move freely in your run on the ball, approach from different angles and different speeds. Put some personality on your penalties to take control of the spot. Use your controlled throw wins. Walk the line to gain a better position on your throw. Fake your throw to keep your defender guessing and throw it with pace to your teammate. Now, for I have to say, some of these like seem kind of irrelevant. For example, the penalty kicks, okay, like to make it cooler, like the or also for corner kicks, like the run up. I mean, for free kicks, corner kicks, and penalty kicks, they won't really matter. But for the direct free kicks, I th this seems pretty cool. So it says you can spin the movement of the ball and like. Outside the foot, uh, free kick seems pretty sick. Now I hope this won't be OP. Like that, every game you'll have to fucking concede a um, set piece. If not, it would be really cool. Now, and the throw ins, I don't know. Okay, cool that you can fake it, but I don't think we, people really give a shit about how the throw ins look and work. Now for the physical play overall. Now, pushback tech innovates in trapping, dribbling physics, and defending to create two life battles for position and the ball. This is especially important when you want to control a ball and buy time off a teammate to make a run or get into supporting position. New physical interaction. Player interactions come to life in a realistic detail across the entire pitch, like goalkeeper collisions, across body tackles, 50-50 battles, jostling while ball is in the air, and ball control while shielding. 360 shield dribble, new, pro new proximity based the shielding will help you fend off opponents and keep positions. Defenders can be shielded out as you dribble in any direction. Now the pushback tech seems okay, like okay, like better uh, uh, kind of settings than last year for dribbling, passing, defending. Hope this won't bug out or like as as always there's a thing in FIFA that's super OP so I hope also this won't be OP. And also the kind of the new physical interactions also seems really cool, okay? Nothing to shout about but different and the 360 shield dribble I actually found really nice because I already use this in FIFA so like I pretty much just stop press an L2 and then I don't know maybe do a fake shot to stop the defender I find this very OP hopefully it won't be too OP next year but I hope it works like this year so just works very well now attentive intelligence system constant spatial analysis now, every player analyzes the proximity of their opponents and space around them to better identify you know, your opportunities in attack. When you are on the ball, your teammates understand if you make a pass and adjust their movement to show for you to make a new run. New run types. Smaller players or increased activity of the ball give you new and creative ways to open up the opposition. Orchestrated runs with multiple players, fake runs, stunt runs, and calling a player to show support are a few ways to take control in the build-up. Now, this I'm kind of scared about, because in the last years, over-the-top chip through balls have fucking been OP as fuck, and like, just really annoying to play against. So I hope FIFA 17 won't be like this, because it seems that it'll pretty much just be easier for you to send your player through, and like, just harder for you to defend it, so I hope this is a mess of the game. And yeah, like, I don't know, I find it cool that, like, better players, for example, Rakitic isn't very fast, but he is so intelligent on the ball in real life, so I feel like, even if he's not fast, he should be able to, I don't know, make runs, make better runs that are fast fuck like a barbo, which has not, mu not as much intelligence as him, like, just 
um, help the players that are really high rated, that are actually intelligent on the ball in real life, to make them better in FIFA, which I would really like, because in my opinion, better your team is, better you should play. Not that a 10k team should be better than a 1 million coin team. Now, new attacking techniques. Driven finish. A new shot mechanic lets players keep the ball low in any situation. Finesse, volley, or when simply slotting it home. Threaded through pass. Curved, precise, info space. Create new scoring chances with a presently executed threaded through pass. Driven goal kicks. Start a quick counter-attack by passing it out of your goal with power and direction. Downwards headers. Greater control and direction allows players to head the ball down and into the ground, making keepers work harder. Now, the German finish seems actually really interesting. Finally, a new way to score. I really like the way, like, because in FIFA, I feel like pretty much 90% of the goals are, are, like, long shots that you shoot on far, on far post, but, like, on, on top right. And I feel like in real life, people will score more from, like, the bottom corner. So, like, the German finish, I feel like, is more also in real life. Threaded through pass. I hopefully will help like make the passing better in this year like make just to play more passing like better you are and better your passing should be so it should be harder to defend and not that over the top chip robot bullshit that players that can't play FIFA for shit do German goal kicks okay seems cool I don't know not very important it says that you can send the ball out with power and position hopefully like then this means that like players with high kicking should should excel on this, but also that pretty much long for goalkeepers will be nerfed, so we'll have to see on that. And downward headers also actually is the one that scares me the, the most, because I hope that if if headers are back, this will be a fucking OP, because if, it says here that it will be easier to score, pretty much. It's saying that, and so if headers are OP, you pretty much will score every single time. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed my opinion on this. Let me know in the comments what you think of EA, EA have implemented. And I'll make further videos when new implements are official. Thank you guys for watching. Follow my sponsors down below in the description. And yeah, I'm out.